Hi, it's Auntie Lee, and I'm reading to you from my rocking chair. Today, my story is Mungo and the Spiders from Space. It's written by Timothy Knappman, illustrated by Adam Stoyer, and borrowed from the library. Mungo and the Spiders from Space. This is Mungo. He has just been given a book called Galacticus and Gizmo Save the Universe. His mum found it at a garage sale. It was old and torn and tattered and stuck together with tape, but she knew Mungo would love it just from the picture on the cover. Read it, mum. Read it, please, said Mungo that night. And this is the story it tells. Galacticus and Gizmo Save the Universe. The trusty rocket ship Vroom 101 streaked across the winking, blinking blackness of space. At the controls, Captain Galacticus of Star Squadron and his sparky sidekick, Gizmo. They were taking the gnashing, slashing gobble beast to space prison for eating two galaxies and a Mars. When suddenly... Badoink! We've hit something, said Captain Galacticus. By Jupiter, said Gizmo, it's a gigantic spider web. And look, said Captain Galacticus, it's coming from that gigantic robot spider. Just then, a voice echoed out of the darkness. Ha, 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 ha. I'd know that crazed cackle anywhere, said Gap Captain Galacticus. It's Dr. Frankenstinker, the maddest mad scientist on Mercury. Wicked Dr. Frankenstinker, who rearranged the stars so they spelled out rude words. Wild Dr. Frankenstinker, who squeezed all the milk out of the Milky Way just so he could have it on his cornflakes. Weird Dr. Frankenstinker, whose shocking behavior was blamed on a nasty case of asteroids he'd had when he was small. We meet again at last, Galacticus, said Dr. Frankenstinker, but you won't stop me this time. Soon every Star Squadron rocket ship will be tangled up in a web like this one, and then I will rule the universe! Ha 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 ha! Oh, cut the cackle, said Captain Galacticus, and his rocket ship's blam cannon blasted the gigantic robot spider and its web into tiny bits. You'll never defeat Star Squadron! It's true, I won't get very far with just one spider, said Dr. Frankenstinker. So here are several million others I made earlier. Well, I never, said Captain Galacticus. Ah, uh, 3000 AD, is that the really the time? Oh, I really must be going. Not so fast, said Dr. Frankenstinker. My spider army and I are off to defeat Star Squadron, but don't worry, we won't be leaving you all alone and sad. In fact, you'll be tickled pink. Seize him! The next thing he knew, Captain Galacticus was once again held fast in a gigantic spider web. A gigantic robot spider reached out with his pinchers to give Captain Galacticus the tickling of a lifetime. Oh, <laughs> help! Help! He yelped. Would Gizmo hear the captain's yelp for help? Would she rescue him in time? Would they be able to foil Dr. Frankenstinker's dastardly plan to rule the universe? Mungo couldn't wait to find out, but... The last page was missing. But Mum, said Mungo, what happens next? I don't know, darling, she said. Why don't you make up an ending? And she left him alone with the book. Make up an ending, thought Mungo. I can't make up an ending. And then something odd happened. As he sat staring at the cover, one of the stars started to get bigger and bigger and bigger until... With a boom and a zoom, the rocket ship Vroom 101 burst into the room. By Jupiter, said Mungo. Before he knew what ha was happening, it scooped him up and looped the loop and swooped straight back into the book. Gizmo, the sparky sidekick, cried Mungo. Quick, said Gizmo, I need your help. If we don't get back and end the story properly, Captain Galacticus will be trapped forever and ever. Here, take the controls. I'm going to try and free him from that web. But I've never flown a rocket ship before, said Mungo. What does this do? Don't touch that button, cried Gizmo. Oops, said Mungo. It was too late. 
everyone had forgotten about the gnashing, slashing gobble beast on his way to space prison. And now he was free and very, very hungry. Yummy scrummy in my tummy, he howled as he gnashed and slashed and gobbled his way through Dr. Frankenstinker's robot spider army. Yerp, he burped when the last one was gone. Hooray, cried Gizmo. Mungo's done it. Galacticus is free. Not so fast, said Dr. Frankenstinker. Look what I've got here. So it was you who tore the last page out of the book, said Captain Galacticus. Yes, and now I'm going to eat it, said Dr. Frankenstinker, so you can never put it back. That way you'll never end the story properly and you'll never defeat me. Ha 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 ha! Whoosh! But that's cheating, said Mungo. I've got to do something. But what buttons do I press? Mungo couldn't decide, so he shut his eyes and pressed them all. Zip, 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 throwing, beep. The rocket ship went streaking and shrieking and point Dr. Frankenstinker in the bottom. Eow! She yelped as he blurped back the page. Grab it, said Gizmo. Ugh, said Captain Galacticus. It's all soggy. Congratulations, Mungo, said Gizmo. Now we'll be taking two dangerous criminals to space prison. You've saved the universe. And better still, you've given us a proper ending, said Captain Galacticus. Take the last page. You can tape it back into the book. Then Dr. Frankenstinker will never get his hands on it again. When Mungo's mum came back to turn off the light, Mungo was fast asleep. He was still clutching the last page of the book in which Captain Galacticus was rescued and the universe was saved by a mysterious stranger, the youngest ever member of Star Squadron. Thanks so much for sharing my story with me. I'll see you again soon, the next time I read from my rocking chair.